today I'm going to be walking you through how I would scribe a piece of beadboard to uh, the end of a stool and apron like this. A fairly common situation if you were running wainscoting or beadboard throughout a room like we have here. Um, I'm going to be using a simple pencil scribe like this where I've bent the end a little bit and that just helps me to get into the details of this self-return. As far as positioning the piece, I just have it sitting so it's sitting plumb. To use the scribe, I just want to look at where my widest gap is between where my piece is sitting and where I'm fitting it to. And so I just want to spread this out to match that gap. So I set that and then transfer this profile onto, the, onto my piece. A complicated scribe like this, I'll often do a couple of tries. It won't necessarily go the first time. The important thing to remember when you're scribing is to keep keep the orientation of the scribe always the same. In this case, I'm focusing on keeping the point and the pencil horizontal. If I change this orientation, if I'm rolling the pencil up or rolling the pencil down, it's, it's going to change where my line is, and so I won't get an accurate representation of the apron onto my piece. Normally, I won't try and get that entire distance all at once. Um, I'll start out by scribing three quarters of the distance or something like that in order to get this piece closer to there, and then it's easier to follow those small details and, and easier to hold the scribe in the orientation that it should be in. The wider this gets, the larger that error is if I do any small tip as that goes. So I might start out just trying to get around this and get my piece in closer. I'm going to be using a jigsaw for this uh, with a, a fairly fine blade. Rather than trying to actually follow this curve around, I'm just going to kind of nibble away at it with the blade. Now that I'm closer in, I'm going to switch to my other set of scribes without the bent tip, and I'm just going to go through the same same thing again. Adjust for the widest point and uh, I'm going to follow that profile up. For my second pass, I'm basically going to do the same thing, just eat away at this profile. I'm going to be really careful to leave those pencil lines so I know exactly where I am. Try and be a little more careful and get into some of the corners. Um, I'm a little on the tight side. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of material off here where it's sitting on here and, and down at the bottom there. So for a simple way to adjust these, I'm just going to use some sandpaper wrapped around a flat piece so I can get in here and, and tune this up a little bit. If I need to get into the round <laughs> profile, I can wrap that sandpaper around either a dowel or a pencil, anything I have that's round and will fit. Okay, so I've got my piece back in position. What I'm looking for now is small spots where it might be hitting that are keeping this from being completely tight against this profile. And I see two spots that need a little bit of material removed. One is right here, the other is right here in this little fillet so one other thing I'm going to do before I put this back up is very lightly sand the edge and get rid of these stray pencil marks and that'll help me see a little better if it's hitting anywhere else that looks pretty darn good <laughs> if I wanted to fuss with this a little more I probably could but once we um, do a nice clean bead of caulking in there and paint this it's gonna look great